I'm going to look at clean up or tidy up, whichever term you prefer to use. And what I've done is I've imported the fairy garden shot and already I've done the distortion and the initial tracking. What I didn't do, let's say your rotoscope department uh, was a little bit busy and uh, you hadn't got the time to produce uh, all the software to produce your own mat, then uh, this just needed to be tracked. Let's look at just tracking it without the garbage mat and then manually remove, do the clean up of these points which will be errors because uh, the actress is either moving or the seat's moving and in some cases even the marks on these chains here because the seat actually does slightly drift from left and right of frame independent of the camera uh, these could give you errors on your tracking so the first part of tidy up is really just to quickly click and lasso any points that you know are going to be absolutely of no use to the tracker so we can select all of those press delete again we'll get rid of these and now we can start going through and you'll see that as we go through more erroneous trackers start appearing now we'll go back a bit more and yep there's a couple turned up on the hand Okay, we can lasso those, delete, uh, just delete, and this area here which is an intersection that will give you a false track even though it looks good so we'll get rid of that, same here and here, same here and here, and now if we go through, we might keep some of these, it depends how much that uh, affects the solution so we can always delete these later. But I say the best part of uh, cleanup is really just going through, checking how good things look, going to the areas which are obviously worse. And this area is going slightly yellow, and trying to pick off the markers that are obviously giving us errors. I won't bore you by. Uh, doing all this in real time so we're going to have an edit and I'll come back with the final cleanup and we'll see how that improves our final solution. So having completed the cleanup I've now done a solve and we've got a pretty good result and if I play through what you'll see is there's still some errors so you could go back in and remove these and do a resolve and it's looking reasonably good. I think there's a small jitter at the end, uh, which is a bit of a gotcha with the chair moving. Yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And you can see some of these flashing red and green. Could maybe improve a bit more by removing a few more, but it's very important not to obviously go mad and uh, remove far too many. It's just really a case of judging which are good and which are bad. Another good thing to remember is the fact that uh, reflections in glass can give you some really bad uh, tracking errors, uh, so it's always worth looking at those closely. Well, I think that just about covers it for tidy up, and uh, you can see the results and how it's worth it.